In a business context, dark data refers to data that is hidden or very hard to use. Data may be dark because it is unstructured in the form of text messages, emails and other documents. It may also be dark because it is outside an organisation in the responsibility of government and academia. Data may also be dark because of the volume or the speed with which it comes into an organisation that makes it very hard to deal with. Dark analytics refers to the process of turning dark data into insight and intelligence that an organisation can use to add richness and granularity to existing analyses or to build completely new insights about customers, strategy, products or other forms of innovation. The volume and unstructured nature of the data means that traditional analytics has got to evolve to deal with the greater complexity that organisations now face. Today we are seeing advanced tools and technologies being used by CIOs, chief data officers and data scientists to derive insights that traditionally would never have been possible using conventional means. It does seem a bit overwhelming and it might seem fairly obvious to state that you should start really by looking at untapped sources of data in your organisation. It's often in text, emails, documents, that you can find insights that will really deliver considerable value to a company, its shareholders and customers. You can also look at non-traditional sources of data like audio and video, techniques like machine vision, speech recognition, facial detection, allow even the smallest organisation now to determine insights about customers that until recently would have been impossible. And with the costs of data storage and data processing falling all the time, it becomes a very accessible source of data and insight for organisations. And finally, there's data in the deep web, data from academia, from government agencies and other institutions that are outside of your organization's firewall. They offer great context and rich insights that add depth to analyses already performed using structured data. And new tools are emerging that allow the deep web to be explored in ways that were previously impossible. Let's be clear, the purpose of dark analytics isn't to catalogue vast quantities of unstructured data. It's to derive insight and intelligence with a real purpose to add value to customers, shareholders and to an organisation. So it's important to be precise and targeted with your efforts. To focus on the business problems and the questions that you want the data to answer. And to identify the data sources that will answer those questions. Another question to ask is do you understand the source of the data? Can you trust its integrity? And what are the privacy implications? Are there legal, ethical or regulatory controls that you need to put into place? Where can you start as an organisation? First, ask the right question. Work with business teams to identify the problems and the questions you want your analytics to solve. Second, look outside your organisation for data sources that might be useful that add richness and context to insight. Third, think about the data talent, the skills and other capabilities that you need within an organisation to make your analytics work. And finally, remember that analytics is a business-driven effort. Strategy is as important here as technology. I find that businesses quite often leap to technology first. They think analytics is about finding the right tool or the right technique for analysing data. And they forget to start with the question, with the business problem that really needs to be solved. And if you start there, that's how you will drive value from dark analytics.